Trevor French is Head of Corporate and Business Banking for Barclays, covering Oxfordshire, Gloucestershire, Swindon and East Wiltshire. Trevor explained more to B4 about his forthcoming presentation at Business in Oxford 2017. Trevor, thanks very much for joining us today at B4. Um, could you maybe just give our viewers a, an overview of what you do here at Barclays Corporate? Yeah, sure. I'm uh, Trevor French. I head the corporate team for Barclays in the Thames Valley. Um, we look after businesses from, from start-up right through to AIM listing. We have 50 people across the region, uh, as I say, supporting the, the businesses in Oxfordshire. And what do you feel about business confidence at the moment? Not maybe specifically Oxfordshire, but generally, how do you feel the economy is doing? We're seeing some positive signs. The IMF growth forecast for the for the UK is positive, albeit not as strong as the as the world forecast that they've issued. Um, the currency has been devalued since the Brexit vote, uh, sterling something like ten percent, the uh, dollar sixteen uh, percent. And whilst we're starting to see some signs of that uh, recovering, we think that this is an opportunity for, for clients to be thinking about their exporting strategy and that's something that we, we want to be talking to them about at BIO. So well, that leads us nicely into Business in Oxford and thank you again for supporting the event for the second year on, on the trot. So could you maybe expand a bit more about your specific talk at the event? Mm -hmm. Well, what, what we're very conscious of is that uh, exporting for the first time or for people thinking about exporting more, it can be quite daunting. You know, some of the, the legislation is complex, uh, some of the risks that are associated with that are, are quite intimidating for the first time or, or as I say for people that are, are looking to increase the, the amount of trade that they do. So what, what we're going to do is talk about the, what the things that Barclays can do to help uh, people to find new markets, to mitigate the, the risks, be they political, economic or commercial risks, and how we can support them through the whole process to make the, 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 the uh, journey as painless as possible. You mentioned concerns about exporting full stop, but specifically a lot of businesses are under threat from cyber attacks left, right and centre. Is that yeah. particular threat magnified when you're looking at exporting? It is a real concern of customers. Uh, I'm not sure that it's magnified by uh, operating uh, internationally. We spend a lot of time trying to make sure that our customers are aware of the of the threats and the current things that we're seeing in, in the industry. So we, we hold regular uh, cybersecurity clinics. We, we have a program called Digital Wings, which enables our clients to share the information, not only with their employees, but their customers and their families to, to just raise awareness of, of, the, of, the, of the threats that, that are out there. And it's about being vigilant and making sure that you, you don't fall for some of the, the, the threats that, that unfortunately are, are real and, and live at the moment. Um, in terms of the, the internet, um, it, it is also uh, really useful because it, it's very helpful in managing some of the other risks with um, exporting. So, so for example, we have apps that will give you uh, live uh, foreign exchange rates so you can manage the, the volatility in, in the exchange rate. Um, we have an online platform that enables our customers to make payments uh, to more than 90 uh, countries. You can have a currency account in more than 20 different currencies. And again, that helps to mitigate the risks of um, trading in internationally in addition to the, the cybersecurity risks that, that every business is facing. So Trevor, if I asked you to summarise in five easy steps yeah. your top tips for exporting, <laughs> would you be able to do that? I think, think I'll have a go, Richard. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. I think that this is something that we're going to be talking about at Business in Oxford because, as, as I said earlier, I think exporting can be daunting. So for, for, for me, there are five, uh, five key steps. And, and the first one is to be strategic. Thinking about the timing and, and the preparation. You know, have you got the resources? Have you got the expertise? Um, uh, to, to take on perhaps a more complex uh, business with, uh, with, with partners in, in the world. Um, second one is about finding the right partners and the, the right people. So thinking about what countries you want to go into and why you want to do that and then making sure that, that you know that the people on the ground, you can trust them because they're your eyes and ears in, in that marketplace. Um, 
It's really important, I think the third step is to assess and manage the key risks with exporting and for me they fall into three categories, um, political, economic and commercial risks and again we'll, we'll talk through at Business in Oxford what people can do to mitigate those risks and what support is out there to help them. Um, the fourth step, I think, is, is about looking at the logistics of trading internationally and, and thoroughly understanding um, the, the route to market and uh, what the risks are along, along the way. So we've got things that we'll talk about that can help people keep control of, of the goods, which is a, is a key consideration, and also how to ensure um, if things do go wrong. And finally, I think it's about cash flow. Uh, as with, with any business, keeping control of the cash is really important. So again, we'll talk about things that, that we can do to support uh, clients and also what government agencies and what support is out there for them. Excellent. It's as if we rehearsed it, Trevor. <laughs> no, thank you very much for your time. We really appreciate your, um, your support yeah, really and look forward to seeing you in May. Yeah, Cheers, you. Richard. Cheers.